new Gemini. So, look at it, right? That's a deck. It is called the Dark Mirror Deck. And it is wicked hella cool. And I like it. And we're gonna start using it in your reads. So yay. Congrats. If I could pick if if I could oh my god, really? Okay, I picked it up. Anyway, we're gonna see what one will be fitting your vibration for the cycle. Gemini, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for mid-October to November of this current year. Um, check your charts, of course. This resonates with you a good deal. If not, do not worry about it, after all. Just boop your nose and away it goes. Right? Right. Also, if you want a personal read, all the info is in the description box below after the musical list. Right? Newcomers, first reads on the house. Everything else comes with the price. And I do take tips and donations. Thank you very kindly in advance. Okay. So what you got? Fragmentation, Gemini. I love the imagery around this card. It's like they're so dark. Like, that, totally my aesthetic. Right? I love dark things. Anything that looks like the ring or something dirty. Let's see. 27. Fragmentation. This is the moon phase waxing crescent, and the stage is anger. When rage is projected inward, destruction joins confusion and we break. Visual seed is what seems to be a cold iron coat rack is topped by a broken stone statue of a fairy, visible only from the chest up. Stone roses are at her breast, a crack cuts her face and her body, a jewel is on her forehead, and silvery insect wings stand at her back. A crescent golden slice of the moon is like a ha is like an halo, you mean a halo? Whoever, hey. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm being a Capricorn. A crescent golden slice of the moon is like a halo behind her head. It is possible to glimpse suspended in the void. Also, the hands of the stone fairy. Hmm. Interesting. Her sentence is, Losing a sense of self is a crescendo of noise, a decrescendo of pain, and the prelude to nothingness. When going dark, if I were to cut off my legs, would I still be me? Yeah, you just wouldn't have any legs, but I digress. Anyway, if I were to carve out my heart, would I still be me? If my flesh would turn to stone, if my lungs were empty of air, if my dream were to, f if my dream to fly were to be forced in chains and hanged out like an expired balloon, would I still be me? I fought and lost, broken beyond recognition, not by the shallow sight of bystanders who can pity, but who. Can but who can't understand. I cannot even recognize myself. Through the sobs, through the tears, and when silence finally comes, trial the empty motions and the conventional smiles. Who did this to me? I did maybe, maybe not. What is broken can be mended. Not so that it returns whole, but at least until it tells it's his name anew. My name. And who will we do that to me? Wait, and who will do that to me? I will. All right, so that's what you got so far, Gemini. That's your vibration for your read, fragmentation. So you might be feeling a little sketchy. You might be feeling like, you might be actually be going through some sort of transformation a little bit, but you're dealing with some anger. That's the stage you're dealing with right now. I love this deck. It's all about the shadow sides and stuff. It just makes me so happy. Mm. Stuff is cool. I, I've never had Oracle cards, but I definitely could see why people get them. I like the little story that goes with it. it makes it interesting. Okay. So, Gemini. Let's see what's coming up for you. Bunches. Um, there might be a burden you feel like you can't deal with accordingly, or you can't, like... Like, it's too much for you. However, we got the Emperor Reverse. Also, a cross watcher switch where necessary, you know? Um, someone might have been a control freak, and that might be the burden you're dealing with right here. 
Uh, the thoughts and feelings, you feel like the world is incomplete, something didn't finish out the way it was supposed to, and here's your card, the root of it. You just don't feel like yourself, a lot like the fragmentation card mentioned, my dear. Uh, up top, oh, Eight of Cups again, who was it? Taurus, Taurus got this, in the same position. It's like, hmm, it's kind of like you want to walk away and not even acknowledge that the world is fucky in your emotions and stuff. But what's holding you back is the burden about it all, you know? Oh, Lord. Um, you might not even be communicating too much about that. I'm with an Aquarius, one of the two, right? Uh, pretty much because you just don't want to have that conversation or you just don't want to have that kind of confrontation, one of the two. It might lead to some stuff you don't want to deal with. And there could also be a King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, possibly, that feels like they're owed something, or they owe you something, or they're a moocher, or they get on your nerves, or it's just like, you can't believe a thing that they say, because he's a freaking... Mm, I don't know. Like, just... He annoys you. I feel like he annoys you. He might be older than you, too, in some sense. Yeah, okay, yeah, so there he is again. <laughs> so here's annoying guy coming to annoy you just a tad. Okay. And here's your that lack of identity right here, you know. And nine is a derivative of twenty-seven. Because it's times three. Three has been showing up a lot of my fucking cards today, and I don't know if it's because of this deck I'm getting now or what. Um there might have been some magic work here, Gemini, or someone might have used their charm, their wit, their abilities, their skills to keep pulling some pentacles out of a dead tree. Eventually that shit might not work for very long if you're not careful, so uh, use your magic carefully and don't like suck too much life out or else it'll suck the life back out of you, right? Alright, Gemini, let's see what's going on with you this quarter, right? He got the Ten of Wands reversed. There's a burden that's hard for you to carry. You might even feel like you need someone that'll carry it with you. Like, usually, like, I don't know, Gemini, you're not ones to really, like, be emotional and shit. Like, you're not that deep of people, which I greatly appreciate because, like, you know, in a way, you're kind of practical and you understand not to take shit too terribly serious, except when you do, but we never know which one that is because it's like, mm hmm but you guys, if it's something that's heavy, that's like emotional, I don't think you guys would know how to deal with that entirely well. Because that's like, I don't know. The only air sign I could think of that deals with emotions like a little accordingly is maybe Libra. But but I'm not sure if that's even a right assessment either. I mean, like not like you guys can handle emotions. But not everybody handles emotions on the same level of depth. You know. So let's see, this ten of... Wands, right? There might be a king of so uh, not swords. <laughs> king of wands right here who's letting snakes ramble around their yard. And the snake is like treacherous. It might even kill the dude if he ain't paying attention since he wants to sleep in his chair. You know. Uh, yeah, look at this young sprock. He, the snake's kind of going for him like he's a baby chick. Just being like, hey, I will stomp you out if I got to you. Right? Mm. I don't know if you're dealing with the parent or not, Gemini. You could be, but it's like... The King of Wands, I would almost assume, would be the dad to the page of Wands right here. The person who isn't listening to his intuition. Or this King of Wands is allowing the snake to do whatever to this page of Wands and is ignoring the fact that this shit's happening. Maybe the snake is not so kind or comfortable with um this youngin right here and it's something that's really really hard to handle or it's just a simple fact that this king would rather deal with snakes than he would like his pages or whatever maybe he's also a man who impossibly goes somewhere and like he should know better but you know like <laughs> fuck that let's see this emperor reverse this could also be this King of Wands up here as well, since they're both fire signs. Could be Aries, right? Somebody who needs total control, or I don't, or or they'll just lash out or whatever, right? They keep a very strong guard with the Nine of 
Pentacles, look at him. Guarding that fence like it needs guarding. Some, I'm not letting anybody kick this shit. You know, like, like someone's gonna come kick the fence anyway. You know. Um, he stands guard so he doesn't have to take any action with the Eight of Wands. Yeah, it's a good sunny day for him to go out and do shit. And he's like, no, I gotta guard this fence. I, I, I gotta sit here and do this. Like he's doing... I don't know, Gemini. He kind of gets on my nerves a little bit. I don't know why. Like, I feel like the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands are actually the same person. Like, you're just someone who gets on your nerves a little bit. You were Crosswatcher. Remind you, Crosswatcher, switch where you need to. No worries, right? Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of like they keep guards so they don't have to do anything in regards to either a water sign or maybe how you handle them, Gemini. One of the two. Just take your pick. Let's see. Up top with ten I wands are first. What comes up after it? And well, this dude definitely wants to, um, you, like, you, you might have to hug an animal. If you think someone's an animal, um, particularly this King of Wands, who is also, rep could be Leo, strength also represent Leo, you might have to, like, hug an animal. You might look at this person like they're a savage fucking animal. And be like, you know what, it's okay. Um, I'm not even mad that you're a freaking monster. Just, just come here. I'll give you a hug, okay? Everything will be all right. Anything in order to stop stuff so there's no more hostility. I feel like, um... Hmm. Like, you try to be as nice as you want to be to this animal. And they will literally try to attack you in order, as, as like, a defense mechanism to stop things from happening. Like, you could try to, like, embrace your shadow side, embrace the beast, but somebody would want to halt that activity. Like, you know, you might be trying to figure yourself out in all of this. You know, the fragmentation card, and, like, a person might actually even keep themselves on guard in order to keep you from, like, getting to the point where you don't feel fractured anymore. All right. Dan Blue. Yeah, someone killed the lizard before you got a chance to raise it. Ace of Wands reversed. You could have raised this litter. This litter. This um, lizard, but someone went and crushed its head instead. This is bullshit, right? Just so they can feel like a victor. That's what this emperor did, right? But that ended up like causing the separation to begin with. All right, Gemini's and Cross Watchers, the thoughts and feelings, the world. Let's reverse. So it's worse than the first verse. Let's see. Why is everything, like, all funky-dory? Um, there might be somebody <laughs> coming to fight, and the other guy's like, look, um, I don't have a lot of passion. I don't have a volcano popping up to, like, symbolize my power and my rage right now. I'm just a dude in the middle of a desert with some pogo sticks. Please don't hit me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, Gemini, but I literally heard someone say, please don't hit me. <coughs> I do not condone abuse, right? But it was just like... Oh, that just came out of... Uh, that just came out of nowhere. Like, someone... Get, like, I don't think you... I don't think anyone's being, like, intentionally violent to hurt somebody. <laughs> but, um... Oh, I've heard my dad say that so many times to my mom. Um, and no, no, <laughs> no, you're just like, uh-uh, no, we're doing this today. We are doing this today. We are battling. Um, uh, I will have my candle join the light of the sun and many other candles just like mine. Um, Gemini, this person might not fight you. When it comes to how this world ended or how everything... Because I feel like something was a lack of closure or a lack of completion here, right? Like, something was supposed to happen and it didn't. So that kind of 
screwed everything up for you and your person or that's the same with you as well cross watchers however you want to um see this but it's like when you realize they don't really have a fight to put in with this scenario that didn't really happen the way it was supposed to you just take off and i'm just like you know what that's fine. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm go on an adventure. I'm going to get a candle. I'm going to shine it with the light. I'm going to be a magician and make shit happen. You might go to fight for that a little bit. The root of this is the lover's reverse. This is your card as well, Gemini. So you just might not feel like yourself. You might be feeling like you're your own worst enemy. Much like this card even said right here, right? You know. You might feel like someone has just stabbed you and hung you off the ceiling. To further the pain even more. Like you were in a very nasty, nasty, unhealthy relationship with the kids called toxic. Even though that's not what toxic means, but you know, we go with it because that's the. Like, I, I really don't like that term, but it's like people use it and they know what it means, so it's like whatever. Hmm. Uh, okay, this is like. This came out after the Hierophant, but I'm not laying it down, right? But it's like. You know, there's love there. There's definitely a whole connection there. There's definitely a whole currency of emotions and energy flowing between the people. But the thing is, is like, we've got the Hierophant right here, and someone's basing their beliefs based on what they learned in childhood. Oh, almost an exposure of what he really thinks is something based more on a childlike endeavor. But this, but that's actually not a bad thing because it's like almost a form of enlightenment. You know, it's like children are kind of like gateways to the innocence, and able to, um, I guess, be more compassionate than average human beings. I will say, of the adult kind, anyway. Um, children have a special place, as they say, with the Lord, because you know whatever right and I'm only saying the Lord because like that's literally the card of a priest so but it's almost like someone has been damaged way more than what they should have in this terrible relationship and it acts up to go into their own childlike psyche to figure out their own beliefs or to figure out what the right thing to do is or to figure out what even they think is the best option out of all of this stuff and honestly gemini you're good for that because you guys are kind of like can be kids in a more of a curious inquisitive sense so you guys will ask answers even when people don't think to do that which is a good thing let's see after the thoughts and feelings someone needs to let some shit go gemini and cross watcher but they're lost and they don't know how to work the GPS in their phone. Like they move forward just to escape death, but they don't know how to work their phone. So now they're kind of like um, waiting in traffic, holding up a line and shit, right? It's like you kind of got to let go of some things, Gemini, and then maybe like you'll be able to focus a little bit more on how you to get to your destination. Down below in the roots of the thoughts and feelings, you know, there, King of Wands, once again, this dude is actually taking the lizard and crushing it in his hand to show how much more powerful he is in this scenario, to show that, like, he has strength, but, like, it's really kind of a weak thing to do. It's just kind of like, huh, I defeated this dragon. That was literally a gecko, dude. Like, what are you doing, you know? Well, it was still a dragon. No, it's not. It can't even fly, you know? Um, you might have to drop the swords on that and fix yourself a little bit like this dude I feel like it, it could be you Gemini. It could be the, your cross watcher it could be anybody um, But I feel like someone needs to drop their swords when it comes to the fact that this dude because dude just does not um Care about anybody weaker than himself. I feel like Let's see Okay, eight of cups right here. Let's see. Yeah, someone tried to walk away, but they're having a hard time doing that. Um, tower got struck, but no one gives a shit. Like everything's exposed, but nobody cares. They're just looking away, like ah, oh, it don't matter. This is also like the same animals from the chariot, the same lions that balance. No one's paying attention to it. It's like it's struck. 
All the cards went to the floor? You know? Like, he was by himself. Someone could have been sneaking for information, right? Uh, after someone fell asleep, he'll just let everything burn to the ground. Someone's inaction caused, like, something to happen. Something drastic. Something... Uh, dramatic, right? To the point where, like, someone took everything, including the turtle Marvin, which I think is bullshit. If you got somebody the turtle, um, you should at least let them keep the turtle. Don't just take the turtle because you're upset, right? Uh, now, I feel like you might be good, but you might also be at a crossroads for way too long with yourself, you know? Like, you got that energy, you got that queen of pentacle kind of thing going on. Like, I am bad all by myself. I don't need a motherfucker with me at all. But, this almost requires you to realize that you're also possibly keeping yourself stuck as well, Gemini. Hmm. What else is that? Um, someone went crazy and possibly turned their back to this shit. That's why they're not, like, paying attention to or looking at it. But they will come up for a, a, a battle, though. So, there's something you're trying to walk away from, but you can't exactly. Like, the tower got exposed, but no one's even acknowledging it. This just set you off. And you're carrying your back to it. Then someone just happens to come up and is just like, hey, are you doing all right? And you're like, you know what? I'm fine. And they're just like, you don't seem f I'm fine. Oh, okay. Well, I just, you know what? I just think it's funny that like, you know, it's almost like you switch it up. Like you, you're disgruntled for a bit and turn your back to it. But then you just come back with a lightsaber, which is being like, hey, I've come to fly over your house and figure out what the fuck is up. And I'm all over your house right now. So I don't need to do that shit no more. You know? This King of Pentacles right here, mind you, um, the Queen of Pentacles has come out, so, like, I know she's the counterpart to this dude. Um, annoying dude, I feel like, right here. He's supposed to be a provider, he is not. He's supposed to be someone who is trustworthy. I feel like he lies too much. I feel like you kind of want to... Mm, like, he might be the person who's like... <laughs> he might be the person who's saying, please don't hit me. <laughs> like, that's terrible for me to laugh at, I apologize, but, you know. You might have realized the thing with him was a, a terrible, terrible, a terrible um, choice of emotions to sink your cups into somebody who I feel like rather like just ask you for shit than actually give you something that'll make you feel comforted, you know? Uh, plus some secrets come out about him, possible about a Pisces or a Cancer. Once again, chariots all over the place too. And... Dude might be trying to face his fears about something. This is a strength card right here. You know, he might be scared to face the devil, but he's willing to do it. Once again, Capricorn with the devil card, and the devil card's down here as well. Well, this is a strength card, but the devil's in here, so that's why I said that. But yeah, like, you might be trying to embrace, or they're trying to embrace you, and you're just like, nah, that's cool. But someone here is definitely willing to face that shit. All right. Last card, the Nine of Pentacles. Feeling a little bit out of place with yourself. That fragmentation we brought up earlier. You might even be feeling like, you know, ah, I don't have enough. Or you don't have enough of what makes you feel like you. Like, did you lose something? Uh, maybe there was a bad judgment call or maybe you were judged for some fucked up reason. Hence why this dude's thinking about firing on you while you're trying to make peace right here with the animal. Yeah, you might have been wrong about things and actually you're now realizing that you might have trapped yourself. And that's got you feeling heartbroken and blue. That's sad. It's terrible. I hope that, like, isn't the case. Whether you or your person. Um, but don't expect anybody to say anything. Like, I, I think that you would shove a bird in your mouth in order to keep from speaking some honesty a little bit. If not you, then your other person. Gemini. Let me 
let's see. Eight of Cups reverse. Oh, here we got the Emperor up right now. With his pet. With his whatever. Mmm. I feel like with this page of swords right here, Gemini, you might come in looking for answers. Since you could be like, you know what, I'll give you your answers. You gotta be my pet ram or whatever, though. You gotta sit at my feet and whatnot. And that's like a bait and switch, dude. Like, no. He'll drop a pentacle and give you a bug in the heartbeat. Like, I don't trust that. I don't trust that at all. Like, like if, this, if people are ignoring what happened, or nobody, or you feel like nobody's acknowledging it, to so the point where it's kind of driving you crazy and it's making you want to go out and ask people like, what the fuck? Don't you care? Don't you wonder? Aren't you da 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 da? These people will just be like, well, I don't know. Da, da, da. And then you realize they really don't put you where you feel as though they care about you. They, they see you more like a pet than anything. And now it's like, oh, well, I must have caught a bug or something because I'm seeing shit, you know? Let's see. Da, 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 da. King of Pentacles, annoying guy. I really feel like he gets on your nerves. Yeah, yeah you're probably going to have to dump your cup out. It could also be this water sign you might be dealing with as well. Gemini and cross -wasters. Yeah, pouring your cup out because like this shit's not doing anything. It's just keeping a monkey on your back. It's keeping the devil on top of the wheel so it can't spin. The Sphinx is pretty much useless. He just sits there with the sword looking funny with his hat. You know, none of this is good for you. So it's like, I gotta drop this shit. Here's a little bit from my dead homies. You know, like, just leave this shit behind and like, take what you... Well, like, fuck taking what you... You know what? Leave it all behind. Why do you need to take anything for? Go on an adventure naked if you can. Just watch out for police, because, like, being naked in society is frowned down upon. You know, like, you carry a thing of clothes with you, but when no one's looking, you go be naked. You be as naked as you want to be. Alright, down below. Yeah, I feel like this is so, sort of a burden that you really don't want to try to pick. Yeah, you just you don't even want to try to pick it up or fix it or anything, Gemini. Like, the ten... And then the jack, or, or the jack, the page, um, going from one to another, like, it's just like, you don't want to pick this stuff up anymore, so that stick that you were resting against, you just decide to use it as your walking stick to be like, you know what, I'm taking this as a souvenir to remind me of what I'm fucking leaving behind and never coming back to, you know, that's what's gonna happen for this end of your quarter, Gemini, that is the end of the reading, yay, so... If you enjoyed this, um, please like, share, and subscribe. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I would greatly appreciate it, of course. Alright, you guys take it easy. I love your face, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.